Hey, what's up, fam? We are <laughs> leaving Fort Leonard Wood. Mm -hmm. As we speak. As we, <laughs> it's early. We wanted to leave at like seven o'clock. We got seven fifteen, so that was pretty good. So that truck bed cover that he purchased really helps out a lot because we can really pack up a lot at night and stuff like that. So anyway, we are headed to Oklahoma this morning. This ride is going to take us six and a half, maybe seven hours. Yeah. We try not to ride more than five, so we're going to be pushing it this morning. Yeah. This place does not save you a place like you can't make a reservation. It's first come, first serve. So we called yesterday around quitting time, and they had four or five slots on. So we just gonna pray there you go. that <laughs> they have a spot for us. If not, we'll park the RV and probably have to stay at a hotel and get up in the morning and just head on to Texas the next day. If they, if they don't have a spot, it'll just get us to Texas that much earlier. Y'all you know what I'm finna say. We just need a fifth wheel. <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't gonna keep saying that because my last time saying it. We just need a fifth wheel. It just I think it would make things just slightly easier for us. Yesterday, it showed us the limitations of this uh, travel trailer because we could not get the interior below 84 degrees, 81. No, it stayed at 81, but it's not a hot 81. It's like a... <laughs> it, it wasn't like we were in the trailer sweating or no. anything like that because we have a couple small fans that we run. So I'm gonna try that full line paper for the windows that faces the sun and see if that helps. Because I, I like to have my shades up yeah. during the day so I can see outside and stuff like that, but that, that draws in the heat. So I've been keeping the black shade down and it blocks some of the sun, but it doesn't do it 100%. So I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna try it. We, we have some here. So we're just going to put it in the windows and see what happens. Yeah. But anyway, other than that, we're going straight down Highway 44. I'm nervous and excited at the same time because I've, I've been through Oklahoma when I would drive my children uh, to see my brother in the summer. So I've driven to uh, Texas before, but you have to go to Oklahoma if you're coming from Missouri. And I've been through there before, never been there to stay, so I'm sure it's nice, so we'll see, like I didn't even look it up, I'm just like, <laughs> we'll just have to deal with what we got, like at that, you know, at some point you have to just say, we'll make the best of it, so that's what I'm doing, just making the best of it, so... That's about it. That's about <laughs> it. You got nothing on your mind this morning? Oh, you, well, a little bit. This is my first time in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma at all. You okay. know, I've never been stationed in Oklahoma. Every other place we've been, I've been to that state before. We've been to Alabama, Georgia, Kentucky, Florida, and South Carolina, that kind of thing. I've been to all those states before. This is going to be the very first time we're going to be in a place that I've never been at all. Yeah. Vacation, station. Any kind of training exercises, nothing. I've never been to Oklahoma at all. So, hey, something new. All right, guys. So we will see you. I guess some part of the trip at a <laughs> gas station or something. We're gonna stop every two hours. Yeah. Make sure we have gas. Make sure Donald's good. But anyway, we'll see you somewhere along the road. We'll see you in Oklahoma. All right. Here we are at the uh, Flying J at exit 72, just outside of Springfield, Missouri. Nice and clean. And I pulled into this gas pump and got some gas, but I didn't even realize that they had an RV fueling station over there to the right. So if I ever come back through here, I'm gonna use the RV fueling station. I think more truck stops should have that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I'm an old school man. I only wanna fall in love once with an old school girl. When I know, I'll know. Hand in hand, like left, right, left, right, oh. Bonnie and Clyde. You can have whatever you like when it's you and I. can have the world See us coming like left, right, left, right, all. Oh. Are you the same? Are you the same? Are you the same? Are you the same? Can we get comfortable? I don't really like going out. It makes me uncomfortable, comfortable, yeah. We could be chilling on the sofa. Or cooking in the kitchen like left, right, left, right, oh, oh. Are you the same? Are you the same? Are you the same? When you're touching my body, go. When you're touching my body, go. I want it. I need it. I'm on it. Are you the same? Are you the same? How's it going, fam? Uh, it is a couple days later. Just wanted to let you guys know that we were able to get a spot, like Piggy said, on the ride here. Tinker Air Force Base Fam Camp does not take reservations. Uh, but we was able to get here. We found a good spot. Love the spot. So now that we've been here for a couple days, I feel comfortable giving you a little tour and a review of what it's like here at a Tinker Air Force Base Fam Camp. Uh, this particular one has about 20 slots. It has exactly 20 slots. Uh, they can handle up to 47 foot RV spots. Uh, some of them are just made for 30 feet and under, and that's what we're in today because we have a 30 foot RV. Our travel trailer is 30 feet. Um, it's full hookup. There's no cable or Wi-Fi or anything like that, but it is a very nice park. It has a lot of trees, a lot of things. Let me show you around a little bit. Now, Peggy and I have been to a lot of military base RV parks, and some of them are fantastic, and some of them are just okay. This one is very good. It's, it's in the upper higher, it's in the higher levels. Uh, the spots are not so far apart. We wish we had a little bit more space in between each of the spots, but this place is very, very well maintained. Um, the spots are very level. Uh, and it's very close to a lot of activities. Peggy and I were able to get up and go walking right outside of our RV. They have walking paths all over this base. I'm gonna talk about that a little bit later. But right now, I'm only about 40 yards from our RV and I'm already at this little fishing pond or fishing, I guess you call it a fishing pond. And I was gonna go ahead and give you a quick look at that. So here I am walking onto the deck, I guess you call it here, over the uh, fishing pond dedicated just for fam camp patrons. I've seen people fishing out here. I've seen people just sitting on the benches over here just looking over at the water. I like this little spot, it's very calm. And I don't see any alligators.
That's a plus. <laughs> now one thing Peggy and I always look for is the laundry room. Uh, not all RVs come with washers and dryers including ours. We don't have a washer and dryer. So we're gonna, if we're gonna be at a place for a while, we hope it has a pretty decent laundry room. And this one has that. Let me show it to you. Got three washers and got three dryers. The washers are 50 cents and the dryers are 50 cents. Got a nice little table here. And it is very cool in here. Look at this. They got window AC set to 66 degrees. Staying cool is a big deal here in the summertime. Got a little some free stuff, tables, some cards and stuff like that. That's pretty cool. Of course, if you need a book or magazine or something, help yourself. Now I'm going to show you something that none of the other RV parks have had except for this one. This is an ice machine. Look at that. Now, I don't know if you ever went RVing during the summertime, but ice is a big deal. And for them to have a free ice machine here, that is awesome. We have not seen that in any other RV park, so plus one for Tinker Air Force Base. They've also got bathroom facilities. You know, we was just at Fort Leonard Wood and they didn't have that. Not that me and Peggy needed because we have it in our uh, RV, but it's nice to have. Uh, so they have that, it's key code locked. So for patrons only, and they do a very good job of keeping it clean. I'm not gonna show you around the inside of it. It's just a uh, double, it's a toilet, a urinal in the men's and two showers. So it's nice to have that as an addition. Uh, we probably won't use it, but those are coming with real small campers or tents. That is a really good plus. So I'm glad they included that in the amenities. Now here's something we haven't shown before. This is an actual uh, storm shelter for tornadoes. Now y'all know Oklahoma City is in Tornado Alley. And so instead of just having a laundry room or a bathroom that you could also use as a tornado shelter, they have a dedicated tornado shelter. And let me show it to you. Let me show you around. So here it is. It has seating for many people. Got some emergency water back there, some electrical and some flashlights. But yeah. Uh, it hasn't been used in a while. We need to go ahead and sweep it out because there's a lot of bugs in here, a lot of dead bugs, but probably should be swept out. But it is a nice, solid, concrete storm shelter. So if we do get the alert, this is where Peggy and I will be. So here's an example of one of their 47 foot spots. You see you have a nice cement pad. We have the water, we have 30 and 50 amp connectors, and a couple of 110s, and we have the sewer line for your black and gray tank. Each spot also has a picnic table. Uh, if you're going to use these, of course, got to have a, a picnic table cover set because these are located, usually located right under a tree. And we all know what birds like to do with picnic tables that are located under trees. But there are plenty of trees here. And that's a good thing, especially in the summertime, provides some nice shade. I'm in a nice shaded area right now when it feels great out here. Now, before I go, I want to talk about the base itself. Uh, Tinker Air Force Base is a very nice base. Uh, what comes to mind when you're riding around is, I think, family friendly. Um, they do a really good job of taking care of the housing area for the families. There are parks everywhere. There are bikes, paths, and walking paths, swimming pools. Uh, the commissary is very nice. The PX is very nice. They have bikes to rent. 
in several in many different locations and stuff. It just feels family from like they like they had the family in mind when they were setting up the facilities on this base, and that is a good thing because uh, the sacrifices that our service members make and their families make should be take they should be taken care of and they should be rewarded. Uh, not saying that because I was in, but because I remember what it was like while I was in. So I hope they do a good job. I hope other bases take their lead and like do what they can to take care of these soldiers and airmen and their families. So that's about all I have for the day, fam. I just want to remind you guys to uh, make sure you check out All Things Peggy. Uh, I have a link in the description to her page if you haven't already subscribed. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please go ahead and do so and hit that like button on the way out. And like we always say, we want to remind you guys to get out there and do something good for yourself. And for others as well. Y'all take it easy, fam. Take me off.